Hey guys, it's Derek, Children's Pastor at Lakewood Christian Center, and I want to teach you how to do this trick. What you need is a modified tube, which is this. Now the modified tube, all I use is a cardboard tube, and then put, for the one that I made, I put a clip, just slid it in there so that it creates this little stopper piece that can slide in and out, and then painted it black. So that's a modified tube, and that needs to be the height of your tennis ball tube. I made this, uh, well I didn't make this, I bought a tennis thing of tennis balls, and it comes in a tube. And um, it needs, this needs to be that height plus another ball, pretty much. So that when this goes in, it can sit on top, and you actually have your extra ball that will sit on top of the little lever piece. So that's your modified tube. Then you get your tennis ball tube, which is here. And what I did is uh, put this black tape and painted the bottom because when this goes over here and that's clear down here, when this was totally clear, you could see what ball was on the bottom as soon as it was dropped. So I covered it up with the black paint and the tape so you couldn't tell when this was put down. All right, then you need a green ball, a yellow ball, and then two red balls, which is pretty much the secret of the trick. And I'm calling this a flip box, but you could also use a change bag if you have one of those to make the, uh, the ball disappear. And then a ribbon or silk to be the thing that it changes into. Now the flip box, I made this from a little gift box set at, from the Dollar Tree. And it looks fairly normal as long as you're looking at it this direction but you'll see that it's modified here and what it can do well, I'll show you the inside first there's a separate box smaller box on the inside and a container here this is where my ribbon goes inside here and this box can flip like this and so the extra container becomes the bottom this box is still here. This is where the red ball still stays. And you just show this like this. I usually take my hand and I put it over this so it kind of holds together and looks more box shaped. And you can open this up and show the inside empty. Of course, you'll have the silk inside here, so you'll see how this compresses as I close it. I usually open it, put the silk or ribbon inside there, close it like so. And then when it opens, you'll have that on the inside of the box instead of the red ball. So that's how that works. Beyond that, everything works from the tubes. This starts in here, trapped by the thing, the stopper. So you've got this, you can move it around. What you do not want to do is this. You don't ever want to pick it up and have the ball pop up because then everybody knows there's a ball in there. So, start off, you want all the balls out, out of the tube so that you can place this one on top because you want that red ball to end up on the bottom. So you've got your three balls, you need to pull the stopper out, and of course that's kind of why I used, uh, well Dodo used Dee Dee, because then she could do all these moves while Dodo was juggling or showing a ball or something else, so they were distracted. You just, the way this is made, you just pull this tab and that ball falls. Now, you may have heard the doo -doo as it fell down. And if you're talking during that point, then you're, that's going to be better off if you have a microphone or music or something to be able to keep that from being heard. So then, you take your first ball, which would be the green, you put that in. That's supposed to be the first ball that goes in. Then your second ball, which is the yellow. Now, before you put the red ball in, you need to go ahead and close your stopper again. Because you don't, you've already got, just so you understand, I've got a red ball here. Now mine gets stuck, that's why I have to blow on it. We've already got red, green, and yellow inside. So we push the stopper in. You can put the red in like this. And now it's stopped. I can actually pull this off. Under the last red ball we put in is still inside the tube. And then now the red ball's on the, on the bottom. Then you just do the whole thing whole thing over again 
put that on top, drop it in, put your green, put your yellow, put, put the red back in, it does the exact same thing. And then the third time is when it's different and you banish it, you, you put it into the box, you, you, it's being kicked out of Eden. You can actually use these and say that it's Adam, Eve, and uh, the devil if you want to. Of course, only one of them actually gets banished, so it doesn't work perfectly, but it, but it can work if you want to do it that way. Anyway, so you, you banish that and it's going to disappear and I showed you how that works. And uh, that's, that's pretty much it. So enjoy it, guys.